uh, Eustus Garwe, who is a money monger. He is known even in the newspapers locally there that he squandered millions of rand, built a house which he captured with the very expensive material, and uh, the Boers tried to cover it up by capturing also the houses of others. But uh, the fact is that uh, this man is a money monger. He is prepared to sell Namibia, and the whole of Namibia, just because of the hands out of money he gets from the Boers. Other participants in this uh, deceptive exercise are the uh, Derek Maj, so-called former prime minister. Of course, he never been a prime minister, but, but uh, he was uh, being referred to as a prime minister of the DTI government. And the so-called 11 ethnic uh, grouping, as well as other traitors. As we learn that this so-called multi-party conference uh, will be developed into so-called interim government in Namibia. Money has been already deposited on their account by the South African government. In the order that this so-called uh, interim government will, of course, uh, uh, draw up a constitution, so-called constitution, and later on they would have a program with the support of the Boers. Of course, this is, this is a creation of the Boers in reality. And they intended to, the Boers intended to release some of the members of Swapo who are on uh, Robben Island prison, like Comrade Toivo Toivo, and the others. So that this will give a credibility to this reactionary uh, opportunist uh, participants into, in this so-called uh, multi-party conference. Of course, this is a recultivation of DTA in a different form. Therefore, I want you to watch the development of this uh, deceptive exercise and make sure that uh, those of you who are scholars, you write when the time comes who betrayed the cause of the liberation of Namibia and who stood firm and fight for the emancipation of Namibia and its people. It is very, very significant for you to note about the development that is taking place uh, in our country now. However, Swapo is vigilant. Swapo is vigilant. If we fought for the last 17 years, we have the vita and stamina to fight for another 17 years. Double that, even 50 years, even 100 years. Some of us will be happy to die in the struggle, but to make sure we build a strong foundation upon which a white man will be smashed, a fascist will be slashed to pieces, and the genuine freedom and independence will be achieved. We know the Boers are armed to the chief. It's even said the Americans have given them technical knowledge and know-how to produce the atom bombs. But in any people's war, it is not the armament that is a decisive factor in a people's war. It is the people's willingness to make sacrifices and to use, of course, the, cor the correct uh, guerrilla warfare scientifically in order to smash the enemy. The Boers cannot fire the atom bomb in the window. They will kill themselves. Atom bomb also contains poisonous radioaction. They will die themselves there. They will die. They cannot fire it in Johannesburg. We will fight there in Johannesburg there. We will fight there in the window there. <laughs> of course, the fight will end up in the defeat of the Boers. They are only in a position to postpone the day of the reckoning, the day of their defeat, 
it will come and it's moving rapidly, particularly in Namibia, because I'm the chief in command and I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Namibia is a God gift country. We have no other one except in Namibia, and we have to be there. Those who are trying to stand on our way to freedom, it's obvious we will smash them to pieces. We will smash them to pieces. Whether Botha Regan wanted it or not, Namibia shall be free. We will seize it from the hands of the Boers. And the Regan is not in a position. To send the troops, we know he sent the mercenaries and the weapons to the Boers. But those weapons are fired by human beings. The more the Boers are remaining in Namibia, every day plan will, sh will kill two, maybe five, and the Peye, there will definitely be more Boers killed. <laughs> Therefore, comrades, uh, in this difficult struggle, we must console ourselves. We must maintain a unity of purpose and action. We must remain vigilant and disciplined too. And we must have respect among ourselves. A nation without respect among its ranks and file will never be able to stand on its own feet let alone fighting a fascist regime like that border and defeat it. Therefore, unity here is the sharp weapon. Unity is the sharp weapon. Next to a gun, even if you have a gun, you have no morale like those puppets. The Boers have trained thousands of puppets, including mercenaries. But even they admit the fact that one swap combatant is worth a hundred South African soldiers. Is this true? Because he or she, she has the morale, and she knows that she's fighting for a right cause. And those ones, puppets, they are bribed with the money. They are fighting for money. They are selling the country for money. How do you sell a country for money? A country is for the people. It's there to stay. In fact, Namibia doesn't belong to us alone. Namibia belongs to the African continent. It belongs to Zambia. It belongs to Angola. It belongs to Algeria. In as much as Zambia belongs to us. Swapo is fully committed to the peaceful plan, the formal ceasefire established in Namibia. Men and women who tirelessly fought bravely are happily gathering and regrouping before the 1st April 1989, when the ceasefire will come into effect at 0400 hour GMT. The enemy has been claiming that they have broken the backbone of Swapo and eliminated all planned combatants. On the contrary, Today we are seeing hundreds of thousands of and get a news order of a ceasefire. <laughs>
Some of you will be demobilized to go and participate in the elections. Your duty and responsibility inside Namibia will be to mobilize politically the Namibian people and call on them to vote for Swapo when that day, the first November 1989 comes when elections were commencing under the solution 435 of the United Nations Security Council. This is precisely what we have been fighting, shedding our blood in order to give the Namibian people the opportunity to democratically elect their own government. Comrade the Defense Secretary, Comrade the Commanders of various units. Now that the plan combatants who through their heroic armed liberation struggle have brought about the uh, opportunity to the Namibian people to elect their own government, that means the war have come to an end. After the announcement of the ceasefire, planned combatants are marching, rally behind the Swapo for heroic and just struggle for independence of Namibia, freedom, democracy, and social justice. A 
It is the deep desire of every man to be free. Free to rule himself. Free to live in peace and prosperity. This is the desire of the people of Namibia. Forwards all the way, backwards nevermore. So that through the freedom struggle spearheaded by Swapo, under the dynamic leadership of Comrade President Sam Yoma, Namibia shall be free. change is blowing high, bringing freedom in its way. I tell you nothing can stop it now, I'll know that freedom is the way. Forwards by the way, backwards never more. Stand as one If the moon's balance is too bad, we do the moon both come and take the airport. Hey, somebody's there. Hey, check, 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 check,
In September 1985, Savannah, official organ of the South African police, lamented that either the rioters must exercise firmer control over their own activities to prevent gratuitous violence, or the police will have to act far more strongly earlier in the proceedings. This type of security force response to black resistance has become one of the central rituals of the apartheid state. Yeah, no. Nah.